Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We are here today to do a super fun tutorial using these beautiful colors and the beautiful Hues of Happiness Suite, okay? I did show you this suite on a haul video, so if you wanna watch it where it's slow, um, definitely do that. Um, but right now we're just gonna quickly go through what I'm gonna use and I'll show you the project. Here's a project, so cute. I use the flowers from the paper collection, the stamp from the, the stamp set, and inside it holds the 28 pack of Andy's mints. For those of you in America, these are the mints that you get at Olive Garden. <laughs> That's how I know the mints. Alright, so we're going to make this box and decorate it. All right, Hues of Happiness Suite is on page 108 and 109 of the Stampin' Up! Um, 2022 through 2023 annual catalog. It is the suite featured here on the front of the catalog. Let's go, page 108 and 109. The whole suite, it includes the paper collection, the stamp set, the dies, and the glossy dots very fun colors. Um, yes, the whole suite to get all of that is $70. I know $70 is not in all of our budgets. However, I would suggest um, instead of picking and choosing one or two pieces of the suite, just save your money until you get the full $70 plus shipping. Um, that way um, you have all the pieces and you won't feel left out for lack of words. Um, when you're trying to make the projects that you see on YouTube or Google or, um, you know, split coast stampers, whatever, you know, we watch our favorite crafters and speaking from experience, you know, if you only buy one or two pieces, you get very frustrated when you can't do like exactly what they did. Um, so I suggest that. Also, here's a little secret. Don't know if I'm supposed to tell you, but I'm going to, um, on July 1st is going to be um, a summer celebration. I'm so excited for it. Um, celebration is where when you spend $50, this is for us, when you spend $50, um, you get a free stamp set or free whatever you pick out of the catalog. So um, out of the celebration catalog, let me make that very clear. It's a separate catalog. <laughs> but um, so if you buy the Hues of Happiness suite, you already get one free item out of the celebration catalog. So save your money, bulk it up. That's what I do. Okay. All right. Um, we are also going to use the flirty flamingo ink pad, which is page 122. Okay. Here are the ink pads. Now here's my spiel. I suggest buying the whole collection. It is $72, but you get 10 ink pads. And so basically let's get one free. Okay, they're eight dollars each. This ink, I'm not gonna lie, um, was pretty impressive. My ink was in storage for about four years. Um, it was trapped out to sea when we were coming back from England for like 30 days, and when I got it back, it still worked perfectly. So I am a believer in Stampin' Up products. Um, I'm not trying to push it. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I am my best customer. <laughs> So I became a demonstrator just for the discount. I'm sharing with you what I like, what I love. Um, you guys know I'm very honest. There's stuff in here that I don't like because everyone has their own preference and their own styles. But there's stuff that I love and it's quality. That's my whole spiel. It's quality. My paper that I use, you guys know most of it's from 10, or actually, gosh, now 12 years, 12 years ago. Um, and maybe even longer than that. And it's still after, you know, Two different countries, probably seven or eight different moves, being in storage, you know, whatnot, it still works just fine. Okay, that's my spiel. So I have the Regals collection, um, and I also have Flirty Flamingo and Bermuda Bay. Um, right now, the collection bundles to get all of them at once are not available because of... Um, shipping manufacturer problems that we all know about and every company is experiencing. Um, you can purchase each one individually right now, but I need to save my $8. So I'm just going to hold off and wait 
Um, I do have a couple of other colors here because of Paper Pumpkin. So Paper Pumpkin is also another great way um, to build up your ink. Oh, and I forgot I had Melon Mambo. I could have used that, but that's okay. I'm going to use Floaty Flamingo. All right, so that's my spiel on that. I don't have any of the color blend markers. Um, actually, I just lied to you. I just bought two, and they're in the box on the floor. But they're not open, So, and I don't even remember what colors they were. <laughs> and that's these, the Stampin' Blend markers. I do have the watercolor markers, but mine are from 12 years ago. So the colors are not the same. Um, the basic colors are the same. There's, I mean, there's a ton of the colors within the collection that are in my markers collection, but I don't like to show you old product that you can't get anymore. So I'm just going to use what we have that is current because y'all not going to bother me to death about an old product. <laughs> That's the truth. All right, let's move this over. I have my little Dollar Tree thing, Dauber thing. Um, Stampin' Up! does sell these dauber things but my fat fingers don't fit in there so it's uncomfortable so i use the other one um let's see what else am i using what else what else here's stamp set i'm using the word friend out of it and that's already mounted on my block you guys know i like to use block letter h for every single stamp that i use don't i just prefer it I uh, have my Glossy Dots assortment, which comes with the suite. We have our dies, which I use the large flower, the small flower, and the spiral paper notebook, notebook paper thing right there. Okay. I'm going to put that back in my little hand trolley. And, of course, we did use the paper collection. Um... There we go. I, it, let me tell you a little story here. On the back of the paper collection, it tells you what colors are in the paper collection are going to match. So this is Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Frasia, um, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, my favorite, uh, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, um, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Pool Party. So I had to pull colors that I had that I felt would match. Now I did have Flirty Flamingo, so that, you know, obviously is going to match perfectly. But I did not have Daffodil Delight. I had Crush Curry. So I'm going to use Crush Curry. I think it matches perfectly. Right? Okay. And of course, um, oh, we're going to use our regular stuff, the paper trimmer, um, the scoreboard, the... Um, stamp emboss machine which I have mine right here I already oh I don't know what I knocked down I already um, cut out all of my pieces because um, like I said the electricity went out and I had already done half the tutorial so I just started over because I was very flustered but here is the cutting emboss it's page 157 number six uh, 150673. Um, there is going to be a magnetic plate for it. I cannot wait for that to come out. It's just, you know, shipping manufacturing is delaying it. Um, we all know that story. So there is a bigger version as well. So the big one and then the mini. I just have the mini. Um, I don't know if I said paper trimmer, whatever. Yeah, you'll see that in a second. I think this is all we're using. Okay, let's do it. All right, so you're gonna need a piece of paper that measures nine and a quarter by 10 and a half. So I'm using the 12 by 12 black paper, basic black. That's coming back. All right, so nine and a quarter. By ten and a half. All right. Um, you can use your paper trimmer to score or your scoreboard. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use my scoreboard because I think it's easier for you to see. And here we go. I turn my board sideways. I just have to. Um, 
there we go okay here's my cheat sheet so on the long side so put the ten and a half side at the top you're gonna score it at one and two hey look my stylus matches perfect <laughs> happy accident I can't use the Stampin' Up um, stylus because it's latex. I'm allergic to it, so. But it's very nice. I like it better than I like this one, but I can't use it. All right, so you can either at this point, you're going to do one and two, rotate it, and do one and two again. Oops. And two again. Okay, so one and two, one and two. Now you're going to put the short side on the top, so your nine and a quarter side on the top, and you're gonna score it at one. Okay, so that's one, four and an eighth, so four and an eighth, five and an eighth, so five and an eighth and eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter. Okay, that's all the scoring we need. We can go ahead and put our scoreboard, our paper trimmer, everything away. Mine just goes on the floor next to my desk. All right, now we need to do some cutting. Let me get uh, this blue pen should show up really well. So if you put your paper like how I have it here, um, actually we're going to, yeah, that it. So if you put the nine and a quarter on top, this is how my paper is. We're going to go ahead and on the right hand side, we're going to get rid of this rectangle, this rectangle, this square and this square, okay? We're gonna do the same on the top and the bottom. Use your scissors, use your um, paper trimmer, whatever you have. I'm using my gold glittered handled scissors. Why? Because I love them. You know, do what makes you happy. Okay, so put your paper back how we had it. And again, we're just gonna cut off the rectangle, rectangle, square, and square. Just cut up that score line and cut all of those out. Perfect, okay. Now I have this funky little shape like this. What we need to do is go ahead and cut up this score line, this score line, cut off this box, and cut off this box. Okay, so up the score line, up the score line, cut off the box, cut off the box, and we're going to go ahead and miter the sides. We're just taking a little chunk out of these pieces, like so, okay? These scissors are sticky, I'm gonna switch to my other ones real quick. And we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. We are going to cut up the score line, cut the box off, miter, miter. Doesn't matter what order you do it in, obviously. Okay, cut up the score line, cut off the box, and miter, and miter, okay? So we're good. I did forget to tell you that we are gonna need a corner rounder if you desire, I do desire it. So let's get a corner rounder out. Whatever corner rounder you have, we are gonna go ahead and round these flats here. So go ahead and do that. And 
Okay. There you go. The last cut we need to make um, is on this flap here on the right. If you put yours, how my screen shows, we're just going to go ahead and miter just these little corners here. All right. We're good. That's it. Take your bone folder and go ahead and varnish your sides very, very well. We need to have a nice, crisp box. Um, some people prefer to varnish before they cut, some people after. Um, I don't really have a preference, it's honestly, whenever I remember is when it gets done. Sometimes I, get and do, I do it first. Sometimes I'm good and do it first, but usually it's after. It doesn't really matter as long as it gets done. And all the pieces. Now, if it's easier for you to decorate on an exact flat surface, you can go ahead and decorate now. For me, it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's pull out our tear and tape or your glue, whatever you have. I'm going to use glue. Oh, wait, no, no. Here we go. Here's my tape. All right. So if you see your pieces like this, I'm just going to fold this flap in and put tape there. If it's easier for you, turn it over on the back and do it that way. It doesn't matter. All right. So be generous with your tape or your glue because this is your closure piece. So if you flipped it over, flip it back over. Now it looks like this. Flip this here. Remove your score tape or your tear and tape or whatever double-sided tape you got. And you're going to fold over. It doesn't matter which way you fold over. Um, oh my gosh, I am really strong. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. So I just would have laid it down like this. I don't know if I said this, but our electricity went off during the tutorial. So this is like the third or fourth time I've tried this tutorial and I am flustered. So just get it closed. <laughs> okay, your box is done. You're ready to fold in your sides. Put your gift or whatever you're putting inside your box and your box is done. Um, but before I put my gift in, I'm going to go ahead and flatten my box out. Um, I like to have the top where the flap is attached. Some people like to have this as the front. Um, it's really up to you, your preference. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and flatten my box out and we're going to um, decorate the top. Okay. So I think I'm going to cut the piece to match um, the pink flowers. And so I know that this is three and an eighth, so I'm going to cut it at three. Um, I'm going to cut it at three because I like that eighth of an inch border. And it was six and a half, so I'm going to do six and what, five eighths? Is that five eighths? I think so. So the tick mark before the six and a half. Okay. That's the measurement I want. If you want a bigger border, have a bigger border. If you don't want any border, don't have any border. That is your choice. All right. I like that. So I just need to decide. Um, yeah, I'm going that way. I just wanted to, to decide which flowers I wanted on top and bottom, but at this point it doesn't matter because I can always just rotate the box. All right, so glued it up and lay it on there. Perfect. You can add a ribbon to this, would be absolutely beautiful. I don't have any of the ribbons yet, so. Oh, I do have white seam binding, but that's okay. Okay, so 
I'm going to turn my box to the direction I want it. I wanted my melon mambos to be on top and my flirty flamingos to be on bottom because we're doing this. So I went ahead and cut out my pieces. Now, like I said, I use the dies to cut out the flowers because I don't have the markers. Um, you can use your inks uh, in Winkastella. Winkastella is a great blender pen for the inks because the inks are water-based. And so when you um, stamp with a water-based ink, like the, the, the water ink pads, um, and you use something wet, it, you know, bleeds and it's beautiful. But I just cut them out of the paper collection. Just two. I picked the Melon Mambo and the Daffodil Delight. I cut out two leaves. And I cut out a piece of paper, which is one and a... Mm. Hold on. It is one and a half. Actually, I think it was one and three fourths by four. And then when you put the die on, it took it down to one and a half. So just a scrap paper of white. And I'm probably not going to make it that long. It's just I want to layer it to see how I like it. And we're going to do that. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my dimensionals and I'm going to pop it up on my flowers. Um, some people use like one or two dimensionals. I will stick the whole sheet on there. Um, I don't know. Each way is right. It's just however you feel. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not going to take this off yet because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right. Let's position this how we want it. I like it like that. So I'm going to just peel off one little um, dimensional and I'm going to lightly set it on my white cardstock. Just lightly tap it. So that's if I need to reposition uh, it, I'm just going to peel it off. And the same thing with this one. Just lightly tap. That's it. All right, move this out of our way. Let me go ahead and use, um, I think I'm gonna do the opposite of this one because I have, yeah, I'm gonna use the crush berry first. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ink that up and we're going to straight down and straight up. If you're making a ton of these, I would suggest to use your Stamparatus um, instead of trying to freehand it. And I kind of like how it looks with the word being hidden. And so I'm just going to move this flower and I'm going to stamp in here. And whatever it covers up, it covers up. Straight down, straight up. Okay, clean your stamp off and go with your next color. Use your chamois or whatever you have to clean your stamps off. And let's go into our other ink. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Again, I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna fit this in here wherever it will fit straight down and straight up. Perfect. I love it. It's a little different than the first one. But that's fine. All right. Paper trimmer. I'm going to trim off that excess that I don't need. And I'm going to go ahead and ink around um, the side. now I want to use the flirty flamingo to ink around it, which is fine because I have my inks right here. I use the little one by one Ziploc bags um, for my thing here. All right, so 
Flirty Flamingo. There's plenty of ink on here. I don't need to re-ink it. Just going to go around. It's a little heavy handed on that, but that's okay. Yeah, I love that. I think it's beautiful. Move that out the way for a second. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take the backs off of my dimensionals. And I'm going to go ahead and press it hard. Same thing with this one. And press it in there. Okay. I'm going to add more dimensionals because I want the back to be popped up. So I'm just going to add. <laughs> that was just the paper. I'm not going to add any more where the flower was because there's one right there and I don't want to make it too high in one spot and it's not high enough in another and your OCD um, flares up and all that stuff. Okay, so there's that ready. My leaves, honestly, I almost forgot about them, so I'm going to go ahead and add them wherever they'll fit. Just going to pop one in there. And I think I'm going to pop one... Let's see if I can get it to fit around my dimensionals. There we go. So right there. Um, I lost my box. And here is the box. And I want it positioned right about there. I think it's perfect press down on my dimensionals, grab my Wink Estella, and I'm going to add Wink to, well, I should have added it just to the middle one. Oh, well, I'm going to add it to all of them now. And on the little one there, a little here, a little there. Uh, just add some random sparkles, a little bit on the leaves. I think. Okay. Perfect. Now let's pull out our glossy dots wherever they are. And this one I added a blue one. I thought that was really pretty. I don't know. I kind of, I'm going to stick with the blue. Um, get your pokey tool. And I don't know where it went. Oh, on my finger. All right, and add it wherever you want. It doesn't matter. You can add more gems, like your basic gems, but I just really thought the blue just gave it one more um, eye of healing addition. All right, your box is done. So you can add your, um, just close up your ends, add whatever treat you want in your box. For this one, I'm going to add in a pack of pens and a bracelet. This is, like I said, it's for a gift that I had. So the pens and the bracelets are going in this one um, and the treats are going in that one. But that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.